Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, we would like to show you how to change content on your device using Air Gesture Control. So what you will see right now, we will hover our hand over the Air Gesture Reader within four directions, so right, left, up and down, and the content on the device will change based on the Air Gestures that we execute. Now this is a new sensor that we launched in combination with Nextmosphere. They delivered the air gesture control and we will now show you how to implement this together with our YoYo solution. So if we sign in to our YoYo computer, here you can see all the triggers that are set into this YoYo trigger. So if I edit the up gesture, you can here see the input type, which is the Nextmosphere board. The output type would be the Magic Info display. And at step two, you can record the action. So whenever you click on record action and you hover your hand from bottom to top, you can see the sensor reading the up gesture. Now the trigger name will be up and the target is the IP address of your device. Now you have to do this for all four gestures. So this is my down gesture. Again, the same input type, the same output type. And with the record action, I hover my hand from top to bottom. The trigger name will be down. And the trigger name is a naming convention that has to be found back in Magic Info in the web author, which we will show later on. Now we also have the left gesture, which is identical to the other ones. However, the record action has been going from right to left. And the trigger name is left. The same goes for the right gesture. So all trigger settings are nearly identical apart from the recording action and the trigger name. If we head over to Magic Info, open the web author, select your supported device, you will get this empty template. Now what I will first do is I will create a home page, which is this image. Here at the bottom I can add pages and this is how you add those triggers as well. So the second page will be my very first trigger. So I will look for content that I want to have on my very first trigger. Which will be this one. Now what I will do next is create a new home page. Because after every Nextmosphere trigger, you will need another home page. This because whenever the trigger has been executed, the trigger will go to the next page in line in this LFD file. So what I will do now on page 4 will be my second trigger. After this trigger, I will again create a new home page. I will add another page. And now I will insert the image for the third content item for the third trigger. The final home page. And then my fourth content item for the fourth trigger, which will be this one. Now there is no need to add an additional home page after the final trigger because the final trigger will go back to the first page, which is a home page again. Please make sure to have every single home page running on 24 hours, well nearly 24 hours as you can see. And what I will do on every single trigger is I will have it running for only 5 seconds, which is the minimum time of each trigger. And also for the content items. Next step is go to the page, click on edit event and this is the page where you have to fill in all the triggers. So I want my right swipe to go to page 2, my left swipe to go to page 4, my up swipe to page 6 and my down swipe to page 8. And the page numbers you can see at the bottom. So every other page will be the trigger and all pages in between are my home pages. Now you have to edit these events on every single home page that you do, which I will do as following. And in case you want your triggers to overrule, so if you want to swipe from left to right really quickly, you have to do this on every single page. So then every single page has to have these settings.
Right, so once that is done, all pages are set and all triggers have been added, I can save my LFD file, provided with a name so it can be found back easily. Now there are two ways of scheduling your LFD file, you can put it in a playlist or you can schedule it directly. I will now schedule it directly, select my supported device and create a new schedule. Drag and draw my LFD file into the schedule. Make sure to save the schedule with the right name. And here I will select my device that I want my triggers to be sent to. Hit save and publish and you're good to go. And this is how you create the air gesture control and how you can change content on your devices without using any physical connection. All this can be achieved thanks to the air gesture control in combination with Nextmosphere. Thanks for watching.